2.40 to go here in the fourth. Aarons has the ball now, gets it to Van Beek to reset the offense. Van Beek picks up his dribble, finds Bleeker outside the arc for a long three. Good. Mason, Coach Mason wants a moving screen. No call. We're tied at 58, 2.20 to go. Clint Hessing with the ball now to Bleeker, but there are uh, two offensive boards, and the uh, Warriors come away and tie the, tie the contest. So good rebounding by the Warriors. Murley now with the basketball in the front court. Van Beacon with the ball to Klein Hessling. Klein Hessling around the screen. Gets it to Murley. Open for a three from the right side. Off the mark. No good. Klein Hessling gets the rebound. Picks up his dribble. Murley has the ball. We're going to get a timeout here by Coach uh, Mason. We're tied at 58. 30 second timeout. 151 left on the fourth quarter clock. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Your insurance is a very personal item, something you only want to discuss with someone you trust, so you certainly don't want to discuss it with someone at an 800 number, someone who doesn't know you and probably will never talk to you again. At Perspective Insurance, it is entirely different. You're talking to someone who cares about you, someone whose highest priority is helping you with the best coverage for your money, someone who has answers to your questions. Talk to Perspective Insurance, proudly representing Grinnell Mutual from Northwest Iowa in your community. Welcome back to the arena here in Sheldon, bringing you a very, very good ball game here tonight from the arena. The Orbs and the Warriors at Sioux Center tied at 58. 151 left in the on the fourth quarter clock. The Orbs will inbounds on the far side right in front of the uh, their fans on their half the court. Coach Mason took a timeout there. Uh, I believe each coach, uh, I think Sheldon might have two timeouts left and uh, three for the Warriors. I'm not sure. My, my vote doesn't count, but Clint Hessings now with the ball in the inbounds. To Borhave down low, up and good. Nice inbounds play by the Orbs. Borhave with two more, unofficially 19 on the scoreboard for him. Van Beek now the basketball to Bleeker. Bleeker guarded by Borhave, dribbles into the paint, guarded by Borhave, and they're going to get a foul on Borhave, but a lot of contact down there, and they're going to get a foul on Borhave, I do believe. And they're going to give two shots on that as well. Kyle's second foul. Bonus the rest of the way for the Warriors. The uh, uh, Warriors can commit one more foul before uh, they put the orbs in the bonus. They only have five team fouls. First free throw up by Bleeker and good. Second free throw coming here. That one is up and good as well. We're tied at 60. 130 left on the fourth quarter clock. Murley now in the front court for the orbs. Klein Hessing now with the basketball. Dribbles around the uh, screen. Murley left wide open for a three. Off the mark. No good. And we're going to get a foul on Tyus Aarons on the three. Murley hits the deck pretty hard. And Aarons will get uh, called for the uh, shot. And it's going to be after the shot, so it's out of bounds. They're going to discuss it here, but it's after the shot. So no shots. After the shot. So we're still tied at 60. Van Marl inbounds here for the Orbs. Gets it to Klein Hessink in the corner. Klein Hessink to Van Marl. Klein Hessink up and good off the window. Gave what the defense allowed. 62 60, Sheldon. 110 to go here in the fourth quarter. Van Beek now with the ball to uh, Viator who checked back in. Aarons now with the ball to Bleeker. Bleeker picks up his dribble cross court to Aarons. Aaron's guarded by Murley. Into the paint. That's an offensive foul. That's a good call. Murley was all over him, and uh, Aaron's totally just put the chicken wing out there and shoved him away. 57 fives. 57.5 seconds on the clock. That is a 17 foul, but it's a player or offensive foul, so no shots. Both teams in the bonus here the rest of the way. Coach Aaron's putting Vieter on the bench with his four fouls. Puts Dykeshorn back in. Full court press set up here now by the Warriors. Yorb's up by two. Klein Hessing with the ball guarded by Van Beek. And we're going to get a foul on Van Beek. I believe, yes it is, on number four. That'll put Klein Hessing at the line here to shoot a one-and-one opportunity. 53.3 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Van Beek and Johnson swapping spots for the Orbs. Back in defensively now is Vieter 
or excuse me, offensively is Vieter for the Warriors. We have a 30-second timeout on the floor. 53 seconds to go. The Orb's up two. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Den Hartog Industries in Hospers is a leading manufacturer in plastics. Some of the best team players come from the smallest communities. Much time, hard work, and devotion goes into the molding of a good team. Den Hartog Industries recognizes this and salutes all the area teams. Den Hartog Industries encourages you to take in the area's activities, athletic and otherwise. Good luck to the area teams for Den Hartog Industries and Hospers. Visit them online at www.denhartogindustries.com. Welcome back to the arena here. We've got a barn burner here yet. The orb's up two, 62-60, 53.3 ticks on the clock. We've got a one and one here for Jaden Klein Hessling. First free throw on the way and good. Three point advantage for the orbs. Long way to go in this contest. There's a lot of good three point shooters on both sides of the, uh, the ball here tonight. So second free throw for Klein Hessling up and that one's good as well. Four point advantage for the orbs. Van Beek now with the basketball. In the front court now. Gets the ball over here to Bleeker. Bleeker into the front court, guarded by Van Marl. And they're going to get Van Marl with a, a block on the body. Bleeker just a little too quick for Van Marl. That's Van Marl's third, I do believe, but puts Bleeker at the line for a one and one Johnson in for Van Beek and uh, Dykeshorn in for Vieter. Bleeker was just at the line a little bit ago, drained two free throws. One of their better free throw shooters on the season, I do believe. For the uh, Warriors, first free throw up and no good. Borre pulls down the rebound. He gets the ball to Klein Hessing, to Murley. Klein Hessing trying to get the ball into the front court. They got to get the ball up here to front court, and they do. Van Marl has the ball, and he's fouled by uh, Dykeshorn, I believe. Good patience by the Orbs. Used about nine seconds, though, to get into the front court, but. Uh, Long way to go here, folks. Van Marl at the line here to shoot a one-and-one. One. Van Beacon Johnson switching spots for the Orbs, and uh, Vieter coming in for offense for the Warriors. 64-60, your score. Van Marl at the line here to shoot a one-and-one. One. First free throw on the way for Ryan, up and good. <laughs> Buzzer sounds, and Glade checking in here for... Uh, Wolof, they want another three-point shooter. The Orb's up five. We've got a long way to go here, folks. 32.7 seconds to go. Uh, ball gets moved up and down the court here very quick. So second free throw coming up here for Van Marl. Shot up, and that one's good as well. Bleeker now inbounds the ball. Gets it into Van Beek. Van Beek back to Bleeker. Bleeker going to be guarded by Borhave this time up the court. The Orb's up six. Bleeker takes a step back three and drains it. Told you this game's far from over. 63-60, 23 seconds to go. Full time out by the uh, Warriors. We'll be back to the arena in just a moment. Ooh, yeah. Get the taco, taco, taco. Back to the arena, folks. Here we got a barn burner going on. 66 63 Sheldon. 32 seconds or 23 seconds to go, excuse me. Uh, the uh, Warriors just made a big three. Step back three by Bleeker. And uh, Coach Aarons takes a full timeout. The uh, Warriors led 11 to 7 after the first quarter break. Orbs up 27 22 after three, or, excuse me, at halftime and led 49 44 after three quarters. And now the Orbs uh, maintaining a slight three-point cushion here. Warriors set up their full-court press. 23.3 seconds to go, uh, trailing by three. Murley with the basketball now. Full court to Borhave. Borhave up and dunks it home. Orbs up five, 18 seconds to go. Nice uh, full-court pass from Murley. Long three from Van Beek off the mark. No good. And the uh, Warriors get the offensive board. Aarons now with the basketball. Dribbling against Klein Hessing up. No good. Borey pulls down the rebound. He's fouled. What a uh, play of inbounds by the Orbs. Merley throws it length of the court. Borey catches an over-the-shoulder pass. 
goes up, pulls down the rim, gives the Orbs a five-point lead. 4.7 seconds left. The Warriors missed a couple of opportunities on the other end of the court, and Borave is fouled on the rebound. He'll be at the line here to shoot two free throws. First free throw on the way, and good. Six-point lead here for the Orbs. 4.7 seconds to go, Van Beacon for Johnson. And Coach Aarons has his three-point shooters in as well. The Orbs up six here, 4.7 ticks to go. Second free throw on the way for Borave. This one's up and good. Seven-point lead for the Orbs. Bleeker now with the basketball. Across the timeline, takes a long three off the mark. No good. The Orbs are victorious here tonight, 70 to 63 over the Warriors of Sioux Center. We'll be back to recap this exciting contest in just a moment. 